This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. You are what you watch. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to Talk to Harry. Um, you know, in life, especially in our country where politics plays a big role, actually, if you realize everything is about politics, simply because everything is about the people. Politics follows the people. Business follows the people, or better yet, it's the people that make the business. Now, fortunately for us here in the Philippines, our consumerism is definitely an all-time high. Now, let's not forget, there's a lot of changes in this global community that are coming along. For example, by January 2015, we have the ASEAN integration. What exactly that's going to mean? Well, it's not exactly like the Euro uh, coming together, but it's a beginning. It's a beginning of 10 countries that will come together, be it for trade, the consumerism within each country, to actually get together and to exchange products, services, and people and profession. We are well at it, and there's no way of stopping this. Now, as far as the Philippines is concerned, sure, we have the ASEAN integration. Sure, opportunities are coming up. But what exactly, what are we to do? How is business supposed to accept this? If you are not ready by this point, forget it. You won't be. Just go with the flow. Maybe you will learn in the next couple of years. But for those who know and who are ahead, who read, who feel the vibrations in the business community. It's like an orchestration all coming to a crescendo. It's all about an opportunity. Many of them are already well in place. This is what being ahead is all about. Now, this is going to be our topic for tonight. We're going to call it virtual offices. Exactly what does it do? What is the opportunity? Who is in place? Why is it even there? And what exactly does that mean? Now, we're quite lucky. We have actually a new super brand that has come into the fall, and we congratulate Regis. Regis is the virtual office that has been set up in this country, and we have the country manager with us, a Dane, Dane Danish from Denmark. I had to say that because I always make a mistake saying it's Netherlands. It's my mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Lars Wittig. Hello, Lars. Thanks for being in the show. Thank you, I had to say that one after the other. Yes. I always make a mistake between Denmark and the Netherlands for some reason. Is there a di there's a big difference, obviously. Yeah, it is two different countries, uh, but it is a fairly common mistake yeah. because both countries are very much represented globally, yeah, even so though both nations are also quite small. Yes, quite small, aggressive business-wise. It's international business dealings. Yes. And basically, the people are basically Caucasian, yeah. both sides, exactly. Yeah. Northern Europe, correct? Yeah. There you go. Uh, Lars, tell us about Regis. First, basically, what Regis is a virtual office. So maybe we can start there. What exactly is a virtual office? Harry, let me start by saying it's not just a vir virtual office. It is flexible uh, workspace. And you were talking about ASEAN and uh, flexibility. Mm. That means that, that you have to be able to cover more mm. territory than just one static office location. So flexible uh, works, workspace solutions, that can be virtual office, it can also be a serviced office suite, mm -hmm. uh, it can be, um, it, it can be uh, offering business lounges, meetings room, mm -hmm. boarding, uh, boardrooms, uh, video conferencing. Uh, you have all, these are facilities. These are facilities that we yeah. have uh, throughout the world. Uh, mm -hmm. The company started only 25 years ago. 
Only uh, 25. Uh, that's uh, all right. That's uh, quite long. Okay, uh, now you said I was from Denmark, and so is Hans Christian Andersen, and he always says, once upon a time, and I wouldn't say once, once upon a time when it's only 25 years. I mean, we are the world leader today, mm -hmm. and we have come a very long way in those only 25 mm -hmm. years. That first center 25 years ago was opened in Brussels. Brussels, the first the, office. The very first one, and today we are in about 103 or 104 countries. Uh, wow with about 2,000 centers in 750 cities. So obviously we have grown very, very rapidly. So that alone, that network, that means that the, it is flexibility in terms of what location you go to. Because if you are a customer in one location, let's say in Amsterdam or yes. Copenhagen, then you already have mm -hmm. an office in Manila also, because then you automatically get access uh, to all our locations when here. You, when you get access, what does that mean? And flexible space. I thought office is just four square meters. I mean, you know, a wall, a yeah. door, a window, possibly a telephone. Yeah. But the office is not just the physical space. Let's it's a service, you're saying. Let's say that that is what you, you would like to have. Lars, I would like to have that office with yes, a window yes. and uh, so and so many desks uh, and uh, the phone lines. Mm. I can have you up and running tomorrow. Mm. So, so you can immediately concentrate on your own business. Now, that is obviously a very static solution on the face value of that. However, mm -hmm. should you, uh, the day after tomorrow, suddenly want to hi uh, host a meeting in uh, Ortigas, mm -hmm. then you can go to our center there. Or you mean you're not limited to just, if I go to your Makati office, for example, yeah. and I have a meeting in Ortigas or Cubao, I'm not limited to just my Makati office. No, you're not. Oh, you're, I, I mean see. That's the difference. Yeah. So you can move from one space to another and feel welcome and be in charge. Yeah, I mean, it's totally up to your, uh, what you like, what ah. your needs are. If you prefer to have that one office where you can close the door and lock it and so yes, on, yes. just like a hotel room, you don't, yes, want, yes. you don't want somebody to come in and use the bed when you're not there, right? That's <laughs> yours. Uh, but at the same time, you get access to all the other 2,000 locations and of course all of the locations. Around the world. Around the world, so you can always check in and go right to the business lounge and avail of the coffee and go online mm. and sit in a professional working environment. That is, you can even just simply buy that membership should you not need that office that you mentioned as an example initially. So a membership in one country can bring you to an office in multiple countries around the world yes. should you require it. Yeah. So it's like a hotel room, but more than just the services of a bed, a shower, the telephone, and the TV. Yeah. So the, oh, okay. So it's a business operating center. That's the service you yes. provide. Yes, fully serviced. Fully, fully serviced. serviced. But let's suppose I want to expand to a country and I want to move forward, and you're still, you're still looking around. You're still sourcing. Yep. Is there opportunity? How does it look like? What does it feel like? So the best is to go to an office like a service like yours. You I call it so. more not office service. Fully serviced uh, offices, fully uh, serviced uh, business centers, mm. uh, which is one type of our locations. We also now have, uh, in, back in Europe, uh, they, we have some business lounges and so on at airports and train stations even. Oh and, my and, gosh. And gas stations uh, also. So we, we have a broad line of uh, solutions. And uh, in the future, we will also see many more of those here in the Philippines as we view the Filipinos, uh, business, business professionals, as being very much ahead of the curve, and we need to be able to, to offer mm. these solutions because the need is there, mm. uh, but there's no real solution yet available except mm. if you have a network like ours. And mm. it's simply a matter about making that network visible to the uh, uh, mm. business executives so that they, they have a need, but there's not a demand unless you know what to ask for. And that is what we have now to offer to these business executives. Would you call this the modern businessman, the global businessman that moves around and requires these offices? I mean, after all, what is a service when a person travels? First, he has his real office or manufacturing, if, mm -hmm. it's, a if it's manufacturing and or a service. Mm -hmm. And they have their own office in their state or whatever country. Yep. From there, they expand, they reach out to the global community. And this is where you come in. Yep. Why do we call it virtual? Well, uh, the virtual part, that is, uh, if you decide uh, to go with a business address, 
let's say that you would like, uh, you're starting up your own company, uh, you would like to wait a little bit with that office space. So you might just mm -hmm. work, you're going to build up your business, you're going to be on the road a lot. You, yes. You are, you're going to meet a lot of hopefully future customers. Yes, but, but correct. But you still need to have that uh, address. Bus the, the business permit, which you can't get without an address. Uh, and you want an address that uh, is recognizable in a premium location, a premium building. Mm -hmm. All of that you can, can avail of at a nominal price, basically, mm -hmm. uh, and, and it, will be, uh, it will give you a lot of credibility also relative to building your business. So you generate perception of stability mm -hmm. in that there's a real address. Is this what, can we call it a stop gap, a temporary office? Not necessarily. I would that reduce virtual. Well, well, because it is flexible, then you know everything is relative because your needs are going to change all the time. Then, then uh, let's say you go from virtual. Now your business is doing very well, mm -hmm. so you add, you have added two people. Now you, you, you guys need to have uh, one place that you sort of like call your business base. So now you take one office there. Fine. Mm -hmm. So you just grow with us. You, you don't pay for uh, a, an office like conventional space. Mm -hmm. You are locked into some space mm -hmm. which is too big to begin with, and then later it will be too small here. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the flexibility allows uh, the facilities or uh, you adapt. The, the facilities mm -hmm. will adapt to your needs. So you can always add, you can expand one more office or an office somewhere else in town also, depending on uh, the needs so of your business. With this opportunity, the impending Asian uh, uh, integration, the ASEAN integration, even the Filipinos now who live here, who manufacture, have services, for example, and they want to expand in Southeast Asia, mm -hmm. they may easily go through you, the Regis services, yeah. and immediately, boom, you have an address, you have a permit, mm -hmm. you actually exist in this foreign country, while you go look out for opportunity. Harry, I can for 2,500 pesos a month, I can give you a key to, uh, now we are opening our center number 12 next month here in Metro Manila. You will get a key to, to that. We have our first center in uh, Cebu, and we have our, over 20 centers in uh, Singapore, and I can carry on. All, all of the ASEAN countries, you will for that amount get your gold 2, card. 2,500 pesos, that's ridiculous. Maybe you meant dollars. No, I did actually mean pesos. That that's is small an amount, and you already have... Then you already have your gold card that gives you access, yes. Wow. That is the membership fee. That is the entry level so that you have all of that flexibility. It's, it's interesting because Microsoft, Google, all now offer a virtual space, or what they call cloud. Mm -hmm. So if you have just a basic desktop and you move in, yep. you need not even bring your files. You just keep it all on the cloud exactly. and you just access everything and all you need is the space mm -hmm. and the body and the person to actually yep. initiate the trade. Yep. So all the tools of business is made available because yep. of Regis. Yeah, uh, well, exactly. Uh, the technology has enabled all of this. And if you look, especially here in the Philippines where the average age is 23 mm -mm. and so many at new I'm not average. I'm way above 23, okay. but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, well, two of us then. Um, there are so many new young people entering the workforce, and they literally can do business with what they have in their pockets uh, because, it, as you say, yes, it is all in today. the cloud, Yes. and that flexibility is basically the way they want and expect to work. Now, a little bit more mature people like you and I, we like to uh, see our employees every day and so on. So we don't want them to just roam around and we don't know where, where they are. We also want to offer them a base to be flexible, as, uh, to be productive as they are flexible. And that is exactly where we come in with this membership concept, with our network, so that you always, regardless where they are, anywhere between home and the uh, business uh, address, we also have we a lounge there that they can check into. In okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to take a short break. If you notice, I'm trying to figure out what came first, the cloud being uh, Microsoft, Google, etc., or Regis. It seems they already provided this service way before we were able to take our information around. Thank God computers are not as big as the houses or the cars that we drive around. Thank God they got smaller and smaller while the data kept getting bigger. And all we now have to do is actually physically go from one place to another. So it goes right back 
to the entrepreneur, through the businessman. Stay with us and learn more about opportunities that's probably passing you by and you don't even realize. Remember how much it costs to stay in a hotel. Well, you can make that your office. It's very difficult dealing with people with a bathroom. We'll be right back.